What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kat. This is my channel. I put out fashion, lifestyle, VSG weight loss videos. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notifications if you haven't already. I am so excited to share this haul with you guys. I have been working on this for the last couple of weeks and everything in this haul was one dollar or less. Literally, a dollar or less. So a couple of the items I have already flipped, a few of them I still plan on flipping, and I have four houseware items that I'm gonna go ahead and start with. So now that we're almost in February, I am so pumped <laughs> because the closer we get to spring, the closer we get to plant propagation. So I picked up three, four vases, four vases, and the first one is this little rosebud vase in this really cute fuchsia color. My local Goodwill is repricing the whole store, so all these little vases are now 69 cents. So I am big into my plant propagation. It is something I really love to do in the springtime. I have plans to propagate a few of my Monstera plants, which should be nerve-wracking but very exciting so i picked up this one then i picked up this really pretty blue vase again for 69 cents um i just think this is really pretty and it goes with our blue themed house the the fuchsia is a little bit off for our our regular coloring but i want to put a bunch of different colored vases with propagating plants in our kitchen window. I got some shelves to hang up in the window, so I'm really excited about that. And then I picked up these two little handmade matching set vases. I saw this one and it was such an odd shape and I just had to have it. It does have a little chip there, but for 69 cents each, um, I could not pass them up. There is like a little sticker on the inside of this one that kind of pine scented pottery wipe with a damp cloth to clean fragrances in the bottom of the vase these are old enough that they don't smell like pine anymore but i just thought they were really cool and i didn't think i could get this one and leave his little sister behind so um i picked up both of these and i think they're really pretty they actually look really nice next to the wood of our dining room table that i'm sitting at right now okay you guys so let's get to the exciting part the clothes so my local Red Racks, which is also known as the DAV. So they have a dollar section throughout the week and on Sundays, the dollar section turns into a 50 cent section. So some of these items I picked up for a dollar and some of them were 50 cents. I can't remember. I went yesterday on, I'm filming on a Sunday, so I went on a Saturday to look and I didn't find anything. I did find some jeans that I'm gonna turn into shorts. They were not a dollar though, so they're not in this haul. But let's get into the clothing try on. Okay, so this is the first top. It is just a little white stag top, which is what, Walmart maybe? But I really loved the neutral colors. For those wondering, these are Abercrombie mom jeans. If you've seen me wear these in a lot of videos, it's because as I'm going through this weight loss journey, I currently only have two pairs of jeans that fit me. There's just not a point in buying a bunch of jeans right now. So um, I think this is really cute. I love the little neutral color. I was gonna crop it, but it's already kind of a shorter shirt. I think it looks cute like that. I think it looks cute, French tucked, just a little basic, and it's in a size large, and I really like it. Okay, so this is the next top. As you can see, it does not fit perfectly. Um, I am trying these on for the first time with you guys. So this is a size medium, it's from the brand Venus, and what attracted me to it was the color, but also this little detail here in the back. So it has this little tie, and I was hoping that I could like wrap it around the front, but it doesn't really look right just yet. I think it's definitely too small right here, because this, is, this should be going under the boobs, and it is not. Um, but I will say it is very soft, very comfortable. I like the little ruffly sleeves. Um, so I'm gonna hang on to this. I think this might be cute over the summer. We will see how I get into it. And if I don't get into it or I don't end up loving it, I know I paid 50 cents for it and I can just send it the thread up. Not a big deal. But I don't know about you guys, the thrift stores in my area are not letting you try things on. So, but for 50 cents, it was worth a shot and it might work down the line, you never know. So this is a little coral bay top that I obviously cropped myself and 
eyes. Uh oh. Do you see that? Some of the little rhinestones are coming off. That's okay. I, I'm pretty sure I paid 50 cents for this one too. But I just love the cute little palm tree detail. And I thought it was adorable. It is a 1X, so bigger than a size that I'd like to be purchasing right now just because I don't know how oversized this is gonna get. It's already oversized a little bit. I would say it fits really well in the arms, but in the body, it's pretty oversized. Um, I don't know, I might end up turning this into like a tie up top. That could be cute. But I am looking for fun things to take to Antigua with us. So I thought this was adorable for 50 cents. Okay, next up is another tropical piece that I got to take hopefully to the beach with us. I really have been looking super hard for a top like this. I'm not sure if this is a style I really love or not, but I wanted to give it a shot for a dollar. I really love the hibiscus flowers on this and that it's kind of a neutrally toned Hawaiian print top. This is a Notions women's top in a 1X. Again, a little bit bigger than I would have liked. I'm considering rolling the sleeves and tacking them. I don't know, it's really long on me when I undo this. As you can see, I am no longer a 1X, but um, I don't know. I'm not sure how I could thrift flip this or what I should do, but um, let me know in the comments below if you liked it tied or you have other ideas. I know a lot of people have been wearing shirts kind of like this, like tucked in on one side. I don't know, that almost feels not completely done to me. I don't know if it looks better French tucked. I don't know. Leave me a comment down below telling me how you think I should wear this little top. Okay, next up we have just a little Hollister, was kind of a quarter button zip situation, not a zip, usually they're quarter zips, but these are all buttons. Of course I cropped it because this is how I live my life. Um, I love this. I snatched it up the second I saw it. It does have a spot here on the sleeves, but it does not bother me that much. Honestly, for what I paid for it, it's really nice, thick quality. Hollister, of course, is Abercrombie's sister brand. Abercrombie is my current obsession right now, and this is really nice and cozy, and I just, I really like it. I'm loving the neutral tones. I am about to show you some non-neutral tones, which is fun. But I just thought this was cute. And I really liked the kind of blush pink top that's similar to this that I picked up from American Eagle recently in that haul from last week. Be sure to check that out if you haven't seen it already. But um, so I was just on the hunt for more cute things in that dollar section. And there's one of the rhinestones from the palm tree top. <laughs> but um, I think this is cute. Um, it's a size large and it fits pretty well right now. So I really like this, a cute basic top for a basic bitch. Next up we have this little cardigan that does not currently fit me. It is a size small halogen. It's a Nordstrom brand and I just saw it. I loved the color. I am loving tucking these little guys in, French tucking them in. I thought there was a fairly decent chance I might be able to fit into this next winter, and I thought for a dollar or 50 cents, whichever one it was, it was worth a shot to go ahead and pick it up and see if I can get into it later on down the line. And if I can't, since it's a nice Nordstrom brand, I know that ThreadUp will take it and I'll probably get more out of it than what I put into it. So in an effort to jump into the shacket sort of trend or like the flannel sort of trend, I picked up three button downs. This is the first one and my plan for the two colored ones is to bleach dip them. So I haven't gotten to that yet, but um, Urban Outfitters has been doing a lot of that. And so I picked up two button downs that are 100% cotton to try to bleach dye them. And I'm kind of excited about it. I love this neutral blue color. This is actually a Liz Claiborne size small for the record, a men size small. So um, I grabbed this one, I thought it was cute. It is too small across the chest, but the fact that it fits my arms is pretty exciting. So I just really liked the colorway of this. I thought it would look cool when it was bleach dyed. So be sure to follow me on Instagram because I will probably post a picture of this when it is finished being flipped. 
Okay, next up is the second button up. It is in a blue and red kind of checker color. Um, what attracted me to this one was that not only is it 100% cotton and also bleachable, but it is a gap size medium and it was brand new with tags. I will say this is, I'm pretty sure this is a women's size medium. It is not as forgiving in the arms and I would say it does not fit me in the arms as well as the size small I just tried on in another brand. So take that for what it's worth. Um, but I love the color. I think it's really pretty and I really liked how my red shirt turned out when I bleach dyed one of my red shirts during I wanted to say thriftmas during vlogmas last year so i'm really excited to see how a shirt like this would turn out if it is bleach dyed so we're gonna find out i have some ideas but let me know if you have any ideas drop them in the comments below all right you guys we're finally here we're at the last item and this is probably my favorite piece and it just looks like a regular white shirt. Yes, not a big deal. It's not particularly beautiful or appealing. It's very wrinkly. And that is because it is 100% silk. Silk has been my newest obsession. Um, my mother-in-law gave me a beautiful pair of, I believe it's pronounced Lunia, um, washable silk pajamas for Christmas. And they are my most favorite, most comfortable sleepwear item. I actually just picked up a sleep shirt from Free People. It's 100% silk. It should be here hopefully tomorrow. I'm so excited that will be in next week's haul. But I found this 100% silk shirt in a size large. It is vintage. It does button and I plan on sleeping in this. I think I'm just gonna like switch all of my sleep shirts to silk. It has these beautiful kind of mother of pearl buttons. It is vintage and it does have some staining on the back, which I don't think you're even gonna be able to see. There's a little bit on the collar, which it's actually up here, which you can't see because when the collar is down, but it's got a few little tiny, tiny spots down here. Um, but if I'm just gonna sleep in it, I don't care. Silk is so breathable and comfortable and it feels like you're sleeping in butter. And I know that's a weird thing to say, but um, I really, really love it. And it keeps me warm, but also cool at the same time. And I'm just really, really happy to have this shirt and I'm excited for it to continue to get more and more oversized on me. I just, 100% uh, silk for a dollar is just insane. Um, I mean, the pajamas that I got for Christmas were $200 for comparison and it's just a t-shirt and shorts. So if you're looking for 100% silk blouses, be sure to hit up your local thrift store. All right, you guys, that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this $1 or less thrift store haul. Be sure to subscribe and let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future, and I'll catch you the next one. Love you, Warrior Crew. Bye!